to Indy Now, friends. This Saturday, October 9th, the Carmel Symphony Orchestra kicks off their 46th season. That is quite a milestone. I'm here with their artistic director, Jana Himes. Jana, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. You're very welcome. We appreciate it. 46 years. Yep. That's a lot of music. It's a here, lot of music. Here in Indianapolis. And you've been the artistic director at Carmel Symphony Orchestra for how long? For about five. This, I just started my fifth season. Well, congrats. Thank That's you. exciting. There's Thank some you. new things. You know, 2020 obviously mm -hmm. changed the game for everybody, including live performers. Uh, but we're back, we're back and uh, we're kicking off the new season. What can audiences expect at the Carmel Symphony Orchestra uh, from classical and pops? What can they expect? Well, first First of all, just to be playing again to a full house and have all the musicians on stage. We did play last year, but we were, you know, socially distanced with yeah. masks and all that. And we will have masks on, but we're all going to be on stage again. It's great. So they can expect an incredible level of excitement, and it's it's going to be palpable. Yeah. You know, they're going to feel the excitement from the orchestra. Oh man, that's great. We've got some images here of the orchestra performing. That looks like the gazebo in downtown Carmel. Mm -hmm. Uh, man, this is world-class music, too, on the north side of Indy. Um, tell us, you also have a new change to some of the personnel. You've got a new concert master, we too, do. right? We do. Zach DePew is with us this season. He was the former um, concert master of the ISO. Okay. And he and I just are incredibly, we make music the same way. So mm. we're together on stage, and it's all clicking and happening, and it's amazing. Oh, that's great. It's amazing. We're excited. And the fact that he's local, too, just making a shift yeah. from downtown to the yeah. north side of Indy, that's great. Hey, Janet, who are some of the upcoming guests? artists that we can experience well, there. it's just the season is so incredible so we opened up we a couple of weeks ago we had a, a big Beatles tribute which is amazing we have a cover band a earth wind and fire cover band that's coming um, but they're really well known and the best one okay uh, on the circuit right now yeah. Orion Weiss is opening up our season he's a concert pianist uh, okay. plays all over the world and our opening is this Saturday we have um, a Byron Stripling who is the pops a conductor of the Pittsburgh uh, Symphony but he's also an amazing jazz trumpeter. I love that. And we're, we're just, uh, and Edgar Meyer, the Grammy Award winning bassist. Yes. So we're just excited because wow. it's a mix of all different types of musicians. Yeah. I'm trying to make the season for everybody. My whole thing right now after COVID is to bring the community together, to bring mm. everyone together mm -hmm. and to have the orchestra be representative of that. Yeah. So it's a safe environment. It's a place where people will leave feeling emoted in some way, mm -hmm. whether they're pensive or happy or music will just move them. And yeah. live music is incredible. And it's not just a safe environment, but the Palladium is a beautiful is. environment. I mean, it to is. walk into this, this is the world-class venue in the heart of Indianapolis. Uh, tell us a little bit, if someone's never been to the Palladium or maybe never been to a show, what's something that they can uh, expect to experience there in the venue? That's a great question. First of all, all the safety protocols will be in place and all that, so they can feel that that's taken care of. I think what they're going to do is they're going to walk in, they're going to feel welcome because yeah. everybody's very kind there. Sure. And they're going to walk into a building that looks very old on the outside, it's based on yeah. an Italian structure, into something very modern and beautiful. And it is one of the, the greatest halls in the country. Yes. So they should come anyway just to see it. And it's so beautiful. You kind of feel like you just stepped into a wedding cake. Yeah. Oh, it's that's amazing. A good way, that's it's a good way of describing there. it. You know, one thing that I love about the Palladium, and I, I've seen several shows there from the orchestra, there's really a broad range of artists and, and genres too. I mean, when yeah. I think classical music, you might think it's a little bit more stuffy, but this is really exciting. It, I mean, yeah. I saw an ABBA show there. I've seen a pop show there. It's, I mean, edge of your seat entertainment, it and is. it's so fun for the entire family as well. Tell us, you've got a very special concert on December 18th featuring a local Hoosier singer-songwriter. He's now in Nashville, but tell us a little bit about this show. So, John McLaughlin. So, when I first came to Carmel about four years ago now, um, I heard his name, yeah. but I had never worked with him. And it took a while, you know, several years to, to get it together that we could have him because he was busy and we had other guests and whatever. So now we're performing with John and I am so excited. We Zoomed about two months ago and okay. he's, in, in, he's delightful. Uh, he has a lot of arrangements already for orchestra and voice and piano. Yeah. And his brother, um, who has the steel pan drum uh, group at Westfield High School, they're going to join us. Oh, that's exciting. And also, uh, it's just going to be, you know, he's a local celebrity. Yeah. Everybody loves him. And Grew his, up in Anderson. He did. And yep. his voice is so velvety and beautiful. Yes. And I'm really looking for it. That's going to be a very special concert for December all of us. December 18th. But yes. the season kicks off, the 46th season kicks off this Saturday, October 9th. Uh, thank you so much, Jana, for thank sharing you. what's going on at the Carmel Symphony Orchestra. Thank you for Orchestra. having me. You're so